My friend Avery is texting me to let me know that it's okay that I bought a lot more Lush than I actually needed. We all need to have those friends, right? Thank you, Avery. Hello, sunshines! So I went a little crazy. I definitely bought some of this stuff for Emily and myself for Christmas, but I wanted one thing tonight, and I went back into the store, and I bought more than one thing. So here we are. Because I have a gigantic problem, I thought what could be more fun than filming all of the stuff I got at Lush for you guys. And it's been a minute since I've done a haul, so here we are doing a Lush haul. I know I personally really, really, really enjoy watching Lush hauls, so hopefully if you're watching this video, you also enjoy watching Lush hauls. Okay, so starting out with bath bombs. So the first bath bomb I got looks like this. It is an orange bath bomb. It's like an orangey yellow. There's definitely some gold glitter in it and it's got this sort of pink sparkle on top. I can't really place the smells. It's sweet, it's got some floral in it. It smells a little bit like something I would smell around Christmas time and I'm not sure if this is one of the Christmas bath bombs from Lush. I did get it right before Christmas but I can't seem to find any bath bombs that look like that one on Lush's website. So if you happen to know which bath bomb that is, please leave a comment down below and let me know. I got that bath bomb for Emily and I put it in her stocking and it smells so nice. So this one is a cult favorite. Oh my goodness, it's gigantic. The Sex Bomb. It has jasmine and sage and yang yang. Lang Lang? You think Lang Lang? I'm not sure. And it's just a relaxing, luxurious bath bomb. And it also boasts of helping you get in the mood. Hence the name Sex Bomb. Let's just, let's just be real. This next one I have seen on the internet so many times and I feel like I just had to have it because, oh my gosh, it is majestic. The Experimenter. So this is a gigantic bath bomb and look at all of these amazing colors. Are you kidding me? It smells so good. This one definitely has glitter in it as well. Um, it's sweet with a little tiny hint of like savory, woodsy kind of smell. Oh, it's going everywhere. I think that's one that you have to use all at once. Sometimes you can bust up some of the bath bombs, but most of these are ones you have to use all at once. They're just all or nothing bath bombs. I think this one might have broken a little bit. Oh, This last one I got because my friend's boyfriend said she really enjoyed it, um, and I'm sure that she would tell me the same. And this one is the dragon's egg bath bomb. It smells so sugary sweet. The closest thing I can equate it to is Fruit Loops. So you can kind of see like a peak at the inside there. It says it's a citrus sherbet scented firecracker. Unleash fire and bathe in a whirlpool of magnificently vibrant sizzling color. Lemon, bergamot, kind of like a wake up bath bomb. I'm really excited to try that one. I honestly just kind of wish this video had smell vision because if you could smell the smells that I am smelling, you would be in literal heaven. Okay, and the last sort of bath related thing that I got is, it's a fun bar. <laughs> so this, hello? Oh hi, I'm filming right now, what are you doing? Yay, that means you're coming home. Maybe. Emily says hello YouTube. Probably. So this is a Lush bubble bar, I think. It's the Santa ones. This is from their holiday collection this year. It's called Fun. It says, make your own jasmine and Ling Ling. Santa and sweet dreams will visit you this Christmas Eve. It has a biodegradable wrapper, which is awesome because they have naked packaging, right? Um, and start having fun. Make fun into models and shapes. Wash body and hair by taking a small piece and lathering up from head to toe. Uses a bubble bath. Um, and then you can put it back in the wrapper. So really kind of cool, like Play-Doh for your bath. And 2.5% of the sales from each of these bars will help fund local projects in Japan, providing fun and safe play where children in neighborhoods where the Fukushima di nuclear disaster contaminated areas are so bad that children are no longer allowed to play outside. While we have fun, we can also contribute to kids around the world having fun, which I think is really cool. So this next one is a massage bar called Yes, and it's one of their massage bars. It has cocoa butter and sweet almond and jasmine. Yeah, so I love this bar. It's really simple, doesn't have any glitter in it, doesn't have anything crazy in it. Um, 
and after a long day at work or right after a bath or a shower it feels so nice and relaxing even to just kind of massage it into your neck and your shoulders it's just really really relaxing this next product is also a holiday product that I got I got one for myself and then I got one for Emily's mom as well it's super glittery and sparkly if you guys can see that and it's on a stick this is called the golden handshake and it's a hot hand mask which I'd never heard of before but it says that it will moisturize every nook and cranny with a, this pampering hand mask it's just the job for hard-working hands I believe the idea is that you um, put it into a bowl and then pour hot water in and let it dissolve and then you have sort of a a mask slash bath for your hands okay so this next one is super nice it's called angels on bare skin and it is a face and body cleanser that just totes of a calming aroma and supposed to be really good for your skin has ground almonds in it and chamomile and lavender I love lavender we had lavender around everywhere growing up and so Lavender just has a sort of a childhood, reminds me of my mom, reminiscent smell for me. It's super, super great, and you just need a little bit. You kind of get it in your hands, get some water, and you just kind of work it in into like a paste, and then you can rub it all over your face. It is not a makeup remover, but it is a facial cleanser, so when I want to use this at night, I usually end up just taking off my makeup with a makeup remover, and then with some warm water, just using this all over my face, pat dry, and then, I follow it up with my new favorite face moisturizer ever. It's called Skin Drink, and it is a facial moisturizer that hydrates thirsty skin with a rich combination of skin softening avocado, rose petal infusion, and aloe vera. So you really literally only need a dab of this. A little bit goes a long way. That's what it looks like. It kind of looks like mud. I've dabbed my fingers in a couple times here, but I haven't even used all the stuff off of the lid, and I've been using this every single night for the past week already and it's literally just a dab I rub it between my fingers and then just kind of massage and pat it on my face and it just goes so far I also use it on my neck in an upward motion my skin has been feeling so much more moisturized naturally radiant glowing my skin is just in such a better place and now I have two masks one which I've tried a couple of times which I super super love this is a mask that you actually have to keep in the fridge and it's called don't look at me it has cleansing lemon juice and it has scrubby ground rice to kind of exfoliate your face a little bit and it smells so fresh and look at the color how fun is that it's bright freaking blue I love it and I think I've used this three times already and I've I mean I haven't gotten close to hitting pan yet um, so I've been doing this every other day or every couple of days and tonight I just picked up another mask that came highly recommended to me by a, quite a few of my friends and fellow Lushies and that is the Mask of Magdamenti. This mask is full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby adokai beans for deeply cleansed skin. This one does not have to be refrigerated and this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a mud mask a little bit. Don't Look At Me is super great for exfoliating and just like, you know, once every few days using it. Um, the Mask of Magnamenti, the reason I got this one is because I have a few friends who've used it who swear that it just sucks all the bad stuff out of your face. Like one of my friends uses it to get rid of blackheads and says it does an amazing job. So I literally cannot wait to try this. I'm gonna try it tonight after I wash my face. And then the very last thing I got was a lip scrub. I have been meaning to get a Lush lip scrub for a very long time now so I got the mint juleps it just has a mint chocolate sort of taste and smell kind of just buff it in and scrub your lips and my lips do feel super soft um, and it says you can lick off the excess I'm not sure that I would but it says you can and all the ingredients are all natural so that is super awesome and I definitely trust it I just got a little in my mouth and I didn't super love the idea of just like Ah, licking my lips and stuff to get it all off so I just kind of washed it off with a little bit of warm water and licked whatever else was left and patted my lips dry and put my lip stuff on. That is my Lush haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. A lot of these products I have tried, but some of them I have not yet tried. Actually, you know what? I can't recall if I have ever used a Lush bath bomb, at least to my knowledge. I have used lots of other kinds of bath bombs, but now I have a ton of them to try. So. I will report back. I would love to see if we can get this video to 200 likes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know where the like button is, click it so I know you would like to see more videos like this in the future and I'm pretty sure we could probably arrange that because I clearly have a problem now and I'm just saying. 
me having this problem, this lush addiction, and making videos about it is a pretty symbiotic relationship. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Lush product is and I will see you all in my next video because I have a date with a face mask. Bye you guys! Ever, ever meet. She's just the sweetest person. Now this is the piece that I'm probably the most excited Hello, about. Milestone goal. I'm going to make this a big focus on my channel, but each month once we hit that...